talking about The Walking Dead and how people are just seeing Walking Dead fatigue. And this is going to be spoiler territory, so if you haven't seen the new episode, the new season of The Walking Dead, stop watching right now. Carl, he's going to die. Carl's going to die because he was bitten by a zombie, but he was bitten off screen. He's not even getting, he's not getting a proper send off. He just, he's off screen, yeah. So, um, shade, drone. People are just pissed at the Walking Dead because of the whole, like, Glenn dies, they faked out his death, Carl's gonna die. What are they doing? They're so pissed. Because I used to be an average The Walking Dead follower. I love that show from the beginning. I thought it was so interesting and fresh. But I stopped watching after Glenn died. And it's been now like one whole season since that happened. And I don't know what's going on. I just watch recap shows. What are your thoughts on The Walking Dead? First of all, screw Daryl. I like Daryl. The reason why I like the graphic novel so much was because anyone was on the table. Right. There was no star power behind there. There were no like favorites. Like you know, things written. It was illustrated. It was done. It was published. Done. Anyone could die. That was suspenseful. But then you go into the show, and there's like there's fan favorites. Right? Like there's people that you know, like they're not gonna kill because everyone loves Daryl. Like oh my god, he's the coolest guy. He's in a room with a zombie. Is the zombie gonna bite him? Of course he's not gonna die because everyone loves him so much. And like at that point, I'm just like. Even though everyone does love Daryl, yeah. his character has changed since the beginning of the show. He's become very much like a weak character. So, I mean, if you, if you really do this like Daryl, you can check it out now because he's kind of like a shell of his former self. So maybe I will like The Walking Dead for now. Now that Daryl's broken. <laughs> Daryl is broken now. Evil mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking cold in Toronto. It's minus 25 right now. I got a haircut earlier this week. Right now, I'm on my way to do a buns trade. In case you're like, what's a buns trade? So buns is this online trading group in Toronto that started off on Facebook. And instead of what? And instead of going to Kijiji or Craigslist to sell stuff with money, you go into buns to just barter and trade stuff with other people. So let's say I'm looking for a new keyboard, and I've got this fancy Chromecast that I don't use anymore. I want a new keyboard? And so once a Chromecast, we'll make the swap, you know? And it's pretty pretty cool because everything is synced through Facebook, which is more trustworthy and secure because with Facebook, you have someone's profile, you have their information, versus on Kijiji, you, you don't really know who they are. I've been burned in the past on Kijiji, so <laughs> it, it's really not a good feeling. But on Buns, you have a star rating and everything is synced to Facebook, so I feel like it's more secure. And the reason why I'm trading my Chromecast, like Chromecast for a keyboard, you, just, you might think that's a pretty sweet deal. I have two HDMI's on my TV, and only one of the HDMI's works, and that's connected to my PS4. So my Chromecast has just been sitting in the other HDMI, which is broken now, collecting dust and not doing anything. And the, like, the only reason why I had a Chromecast, in all honesty, was to sync to my Google Home. Um, that was fun at first, but then I started realizing that I, I don't really use my Chromecast anyways. Maybe I'll say stuff like, hey Google, play something on YouTube. I did that a few times, it's kind of a novelty. So whatever, goodbye Chromecast, uh, I'm good with that. I'm good with saying goodbye to it and I'm trading it for this sweet keyboard that lights up, it's a mechanical keyboard. Um, so that'll be, a, I think that'll, that'll be a fair trade. And with the power of magic, <laughs> this is what I traded for my Chromecast. A random Asian looking rainbow mechanical keyboard. Apparently it's for gaming, so um, I did a little bit of research before actually agreeing to the trade and apparently these keyboards are pretty good. Uh, the brand is uh, LDK. I don't know, the brand is LDK. I'm not sure if anyone's heard of it, but I'll test it out with my MacBook. Hopefully it works with my MacBook. <laughs> it's Sunday and today's a really big day. I'm getting my third tattoo. Uh, I'm going to Chronic Inc. at Young and Eglinton. Over here on my left forearm, so I won't show it off yet. I'll show it off once it's done. It's music related, something I've wanted to get for a really long time, and most recently I just said, you know what? Remember that tattoo idea? Let's revisit that and let's make that a reality. You know, when you get into an Uber ride and you can immediately tell that it used to be a, a taxi cab, that's what I just went through. It was like all the seats, all the old cushiony seats were had this leather leather cover on it and the uber smelled like shit but it was 10 bucks so whatever so this is 
Patrick, by the way. So, this is the before. So let's see how it turns out. I'm sure it's going to be sick. Three hours later. Uh, 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 but it's all done. 